Cervic and Spalding are shooting this gangbangers versus gangbangers. They're shooting across at each other. Let them do it. Spalding. Let it be. Middle. Cervic and Spalding, the gang members are shooting at each other. Now, people forget how cynical police officers can be sometimes. Yes. And uh, when you've got gangbangers <laughs> shooting each other across the street. Now, TMZ claims to have verified that that video because there was some controversy over whether or not it was fake or real. I mean, it certainly sounds real, and it's not something I haven't heard before. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I mean, it, it, it certainly could be real. Especially if you work night shift um, in Houston. You'll hear somebody say something like that, but... Really, they, in fact, officers don't even talk on the radio anymore. I've noticed it's um, a lot of MDT and cell phone. Yeah, like you just you have like a group chat or a, or a single chat on you know with your beat partners or whatever. Yeah, and you just you know that's how you communicate now because those are hard to subpoena. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you can delete them. Impossible, really. <laughs> True. I mean, I've tried to subpoena cell phone records. Oh, it's difficult. Anyway, so but apparently in Chicago, officers would appear to be free to speak on the radio about how they really feel when you're a gangbanger shooting at another one. They're just going to, they just want to let you do it. And then you, you can clear the call GOA when you get there, right? Gone on arrival. Exactly. Well, okay, people may think oh, it's, it's horrible that the police officers are doing that. Okay, one thing police officers get, not just jaded, but you get kind of callous. You, you become ambivalent to bad you know bad stuff happening because you get used to it so your your sense of humor reflects that well 90 percent what you what you do learn as a police officer and i suggest like anybody who wants to be a real psychologist therapist or psychiatrist should have to ride with police for at least six months because then you get to see people how they really are right and yeah. what you start to understand is about 90 percent of what people go through you're the architect of your own misery mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that's what i always said oh yeah so 90 percent of what people go through you know from everything from domestic disturbances to robberies to it's because you know people kind of put themselves in a situation where you know they shouldn't be like sure um you know people going out and they get they drink too much and then they put themselves in an altered state and then they can't believe that they were taken advantage of and, and ultimately robbed or Mm -hmm. you know assaulted or whatever you don't drink so much yeah is the solution because they're evil exists people are evil certainly they try to hurt you but a lot of times uh, you'll pull up and i even learned this well they told us this in the academy but you don't really learn it until you see it yourself that sometimes you'll walk up on a fist fight and somebody's kicking somebody else's ass but you got to remember sometimes the person getting their ass kicked deserves it <laughs> Yeah. And and that's not your complainant. That's your suspect. Yeah. Right. And that happened several times <clears throat> when I worked Southwest Houston, that the person who wound up winning the fight was the complainant because they didn't start it. And that, that's just kind of, but it makes you cynical and it makes you kind of more understanding of the human condition. Well, also what, I mean, what do you want the police officers to do? I mean, you got two opposing gangs shooting it out. What are you going to do? Where? How are you going to position yourself, your cars, your people? You know, to to stop it. Yeah. You, I mean, you're just going to if you come in there, you're just going to have to come in blazing. You know, you're going to have to come in shooting. I mean, why? What? I mean, talk about de-escalating. Now, according to TMZ, this uh, audio <clears throat> originated back in 2020, shortly after the whole George Floyd incident in uh, Milwaukee. And then all the subsequent rioting and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that that time period there where politicians were encouraging people. Remember, we were in the middle of a pandemic, right? And everybody mm -hmm. was supposed to be locked up in their house unless you were protesting. Yeah. Well, then, then you could protest. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah, you get out and mingle and take your mask off and shout your lungs out and set things on fire if you wish. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that was fine. And so that, that, that also, people, if you forget context, elevates a certain level of cynicism amongst police officers who are being told, you know, that people are supposed to stay six feet apart and locked up in their house. And, you know, everybody has to have a mask on and it, it just, the basic, yeah, they turned, they turned the in, entire country, almost the, in, the entire planet into a prison planet. Yeah, they did. They, it, it was, I think it was just an experiment, just an experiment to see how far they can push you, what, how much control they can 
They yeah. have over there. I th- I really and so in that, in that context, yet gangbangers were still in Chicago, you know, out mingling <laughs> and shooting each other mm-hmm. and dealing drugs. And, you know, well, the only police response at that point is, well, okay, fine, let them do it, you know. And you can understand where that comes and, from. And what, seriously, what, what are you going to do there? What police action do you take? Well, if you do anything, you're going to go to prison for murder. That's what that's what they're thinking. If well, no, I mean, I mean, I'm seriously, what 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 could what could you do there? I mean, what is it you're, you you're going to? They want you to de-escalate. All you're going to do is escalate the situation. Yeah, where you're going to have to shoot somebody more than likely. And when you do, and when you do, you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you, you because how dare you? Well, and also, what 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 in the world good does it do to run up there in the middle of them? You know, I mean, what? How in the world will you position cars or personnel to stop it, other than in advantage in uh, advantageous shooting positions? <laughs> and with the now, remember, this is Illinois. In the absence of qualified immunity, mm-hmm. right? Now you make one the slightest mistake as a yeah. police officer, and you lose everything. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, you, you know, you'll lose everything. So, being a human being, and human beings do make mistakes. Sure. If you make a mistake and you're going to lose everything, you don't do anything because you don't want to make a mistake and lose everything. Exactly. Yeah, and I think that's kind of what we're dealing with there because back in 2020 and then 2021, we started. You know, they were talking about we need to get rid of qualified immunity for police officers. Okay, you're welcome to do it. You're not going to like what's going to happen. No, you won't. And but we're welcome to you know. Let's go down that road and mm-hmm. see how you know see where that road to hell <laughs> takes yeah. us. <laughs> but that's that's kind of what you see, and I think this is just a very small sliver of evidence. Assuming it's true, assuming this this video is true, um, it's just a s- slight sliver of of a of a peek behind the curtain of how police officers feel about the mm-hmm. exactly gangbangers they have to police. <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it, it, is it silly to get on the air and do that? Sure. You know, but I, I did. I didn't hear anything about it. Any firings or anything? You think you would have heard about that? Well, I mean, I, I don't think at that time. I don't think they were on a digitally encrypted system, mm-hmm. so I don't know if you could automatically tell which radio it came from. I don't know. Maybe you could. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I mean, they. It sounds like their little, uh, little uh, key noise when you key the mic. It makes that little noise. It doesn't sound like the the digital. Um, um, systems. It sounds like the older repeater systems. And yeah. As we as we all knew, Channel Eight. Remember, you could right. You know, you could say whatever you wanted. Yeah, that was pretty much free for all. You know? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video. Like, like, subscribe, and comment below. We read them all.